Morning everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Wow. <laughs> I think I say this every day but I can't believe it's the 16. I'm really hot. Oh, I'm burning up. Sorry, I don't feel good at all. You can probably tell by the sound of my voice. All I want to do is curl up on the sofa and watch Christmas movies and Sex and the City. Gotta do those princess rags orders. I've got a video I want to record. I'm just not going to keep going on about it. Because you all know by this point. He's probably sick of hearing it. I am. But I am making myself a lemon water. Matthew Blessing got up before work and made me a lemon water. Which was really, really nice. I feel like when I'm ill like this. I can't even breathe properly. When I'm ill like this, like water doesn't taste right. I need like vitamins and juice and stuff. So I'm like, like just from Matthew making me the lemon water this morning. I'm like craving lemon water. So I've been spraying Vicks de First Defense like there's no tomorrow. It's just like some stuff you spray up your nose. I've been drinking lemon water. I have a turmeric latte which I've just made for myself over there. It's just cooling down. I don't know why I didn't record making it. I'm really sorry. I'm just kind of a bit out of sorts. Tidied up a little bit. Because I'm going to make jumper dresses in here today. So I've set up my sewing machine on the little table. <gasps> there must be a cut on my finger. And the lemon juice has just got into it. Mm. Oh, I literally feel like I'm blowing my nose every five seconds. Tell you guys what I was saying. I've just made myself some lemon water and a turmeric latte. Oh! Oh! Whew! That's good lemon water. Yeah, I got up pretty early. I was up at like, I don't know. I was up before seven. I was awake before seven and I was out of bed by like ten past seven. Uh, I was trying to help Matthew get out of bed. He's so terrible. He was just lying there for about 25 minutes going, I'll get up in a minute. I'll get up in a minute and it's like, no Matthew, get up now. Honestly, no wonder he's late all the time. Even I, like once I'm awake that much, if I had work, I would be getting up. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Ah, oh, that lemon juice has gone into a cut in my finger and it hurts so much. I've got Eddie today. My dad just, well, my little brother rang us yesterday. Now that he's got this mobile phone, bless him. It's so weird texting my little brother. Like, I still remember him being a little baby. Now he's like texting me. It's so weird. And ringing me. What is that noise? That was really weird. Did you hear that noise? The cups, my Mickey Memories cups on my shelf were like shaking. I just had to move them to get them to stop. That was so weird. Anyway, yeah, me little brother rang us. Me mum and dad are selling the house that like they've been trying for a few weeks now. And they want us to look after Eddie. I looked after him a couple of times over November and October when I wasn't weekly vlogging because they've been trying to sell the house and it's just easier when they have viewings if he's not there. So Eddie will be here about one o'clock for maybe two hours. Matthew's only on a half day a day, so he should be home in a couple of hours. And tomorrow my little brother's asked us to take him into town, um, drop him off because he's going out with his friends for a coffee and then pick him back up. That's the current plans. Just trying to get some work done. Oh, I feel so ill. I haven't done Vlogmas yet. I'm going to get these jumper dresses done and then I'm going to get Vlogmas up. It should be quite a quick one to edit because not a lot happened yesterday. And I was going to do a rollover, but I don't want to do any more rollovers. I feel really bad. So I'm going to go and have my turmeric. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to have my turmeric latte and then we're going to make some jumper dresses. I'm going to have my turmeric latte now. I just know it's going to taste hot. Like I hate turmeric lattes. They do make a difference, even though they taste horrific. Matthew likes the taste of them. He's so weird. Why did that make like a full cup? Oh, wow. That tastes so much worse than it normally does. Sarah, how much pepper and turmeric did you put in that, you lunatic? Just get a drink, get a drink. Come on, girl. It's just a turmeric laddie. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, the aftertaste. Oh god! <sighs> oh my god! Even with my nose blocked, I've put way too much pepper in. And it's like in the top of my mouth. Oh! Oh! Horrible! Horrible! Look who's here! He's just arrived and he's got muddy paws and he stood all over me brand new slippers and made them all muddy. 
brand new slippers and he's made them all muddy. Look at that. What a little nudie. What a little baby. Are you slipping muddy? So this is Eddie. This is not Toby. This is me mum's. Me mum and dad's little Jack Russell. What's he got? He's got a ball. He's got a ball. What's he got? What's he got? I got myself into a jumper because I really need to stop living in my pyjamas. Basically, we have a bony that Toby left here the other day. I look so ill. And uh, I give it to Matthew and I said put that somewhere for the next time one of them comes round. I think that was like yesterday or the day before. My nose off drying my nose. Blowing my nose. Yeah, there's a bony somewhere. Matthew was like, oh, I'll put it in the drawer. And I've looked... There's three drawers in this kitchen, it's not in any of them. So what on earth has he done with it? I have found the bone. It was on top of the cupboard in a bag. Ooh, Eddie. Ooh. Ooh, you got a bone here. He's a good boy. Now you're not gonna you're not gonna bury it. You're gonna lie down and eat it, aren't you? Come and lie down. No, you're not going outside. He's he's just like Toby, he wants to bury it. But I want him to eat it and just chill out for a couple of hours. He's also a lot better at burying bones than Toby. Toby will spend hours destroying his nose trying to bury something and then at the end of it it'll literally just be in the middle of the floor. But Eddie can bury things and put everything back where it was and you would never know. It's unbelievable what he can do with a bone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet the world's second neediest dog. I'm sat at the sewing machine trying to make jumper dresses. It's nearly two o'clock and I need to make three today and I haven't even finished one. And he's insisting on sitting on my knee. Now I did actually manage to get Eddie to sit on my knee, sorry Toby to sit on my knee when I was making dresses in the garage and stuff. But Eddie won't lie down, he wants to stand like this. You're gonna have to lie down. Right, lie down. Lie down. Eddie, are you gonna lie down? Right, there we go. Get that little body down. Right, now I'm gonna sew and you have to stay still. Oh dear. You're gonna stay still for me. I've pulled the puffy right next to me. Now you lie down while I do this. Look at this. He's on the puffy. I hope you haven't been telling how ill you are all the time. I've mentioned that I'm ill. I mentioned it. Mentioned that I'm ill. Every five minutes. Look how red my nose is. Oh. That's really bright. It makes me want to sneeze. Look at my eye. Oh, it won't mm -hmm. it won't stop watering. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, it's like watering. I've been in bed for the last few hours because I don't feel very good at all. My eyes watering, my nose is tingling. Matthew's been making skirts, haven't you? While we went around my mum's and dropped off Eddie, she gave us this vegan Christmas hamper. Do you want to have a look inside, Matthew? Ooh, dairy free milk chocolate honeycomb. Spicy garlic and tomato salsa dip. That must be for the crisps. Proudly vegan. Sauvignon Blanc. What? Sauvignon Blanc. What is it? How do you say it? Sauvignon. My nose is blocked and my eye needs to water again. How do you say it? Say it again. Sauvignon. Blanc. Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. That like hurts to hear. But anyway, thank you mother and father. What oh, is nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah. I tried to say goodnight to you downstairs but the camera died um, I guess it's been another quite short working day but I'm just really trying to get on with Princess Rags orders so I hope that's okay just you know the usual just need to get them out before the last posting date so yeah I'm not going to go on about it I hope you enjoyed today's vlog even though it was quite brief um, if I can get through these princess rags orders, the last few days of Vlogmas should be quite Christmassy. Me and Matthew are going to go out on Friday, see Mary Poppins and do Christmas shopping and stuff. So yeah, I just need to get this stuff 
done. You guys have been great so far about it though, so just bear with me, please. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas and I'll see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. And I'm gonna go and blow my nose. <laughs>
taking them to your sushi when I've got as many orders as I have. Plus, I was supposed to see my friend Beth tonight. Um, she was going to come around with her boyfriend and we were going to have pizza. But I can't. Bless her. I feel so bad. Sorry, Beth, if you're watching. I'm seeing her after Christmas now. She's going to come around after Christmas. I don't think I'll be as busy after Christmas because I'm planning on getting all of my orders out. So when I get back... I am going to have a few days off, like, my chill time is going to be between, it's going to be the 28th to, like, the 31st of December, and then come January 1st, I'm going to be back on it with the weekly vlogs, so I'm going to have four days off, which I'm really looking forward to. You can still watch Christmas movies after Christmas, can't you? Anyway, let's do some more work. Um, I'm just changing over my disc because I have the Sex and the City box set, well, it's my sister's, but I borrowed it years ago, and I still have it, but she doesn't really have time to watch it. Like, I put it on in the background, um, I probably just watch it, like, once a year or something, like, I do, like, Sex and the City. Um, what disc am I up to? I started re-watching again the other day, and I'm already up to season three, disc two. So, that is what I'm having on in the background. It's so much nicer. So in, in the house, if I'm honest, it's just warmer and the kitchen's right there. Yeah, I do wish that Sarah Lou, I mean, I've said this from the start, like, I wish Sarah Lou HQ was in the house. Like, I wish I had another spare bedroom instead of it being the garage. Or I wish the garage was connected and it had, like, heating and stuff in there. But then I guess it wouldn't be a garage, it would be in the room. So, yeah, I do wish I had, like, like, when we, if we ever move, I want more than two bedrooms or I'd need a big second room. So I'm enjoying having the Sex and the City on the TV and then me literally on the sewing machine there and then the kitchen's there. So then I'm gonna hopefully finish this jumper dress and then I've got another one to do, but I've got a skirt that has to go out today because somebody's requested it by a certain date. I'm just a bit panicky. But I've got my next disc in. Let's make a tumor glide. Okay, tumor glide. <laughs> A cup. I'm gonna use my Rapunzel one. This reminds me of Beth. Bless her, because her favourite princess is Rapunzel. And I remember when she came around once and I was like, get yourself a drink and she chose this cup. I knew she would, bless her. I'm gonna have soy milk. Just fill it up to the top. Heat it up in the microwave for about two minutes and then you put everything else in. Okay, I don't know how hot that is, but I don't want it scalding because I just want to neck it because it's just Disgusting. All right, the bench is a bit of a mess and the recycling still needs taken out, so please ignore. So you need turmeric. You need about, well, I'd say, oh God, I'm nearly out. I'd say you need at least one teaspoon, but yesterday I put three in. That's probably why I feel so much better today. Well, my nose feels better anyway, and my muscles aren't doing that horrible thing when your muscles are just like, uh. I'd rather have a runny nose and a watery eye than the whole muscle thing. The painful muscle thing is just so horrible. I have no idea how much I've put in. You need cinnamon. Again, like, I think with turmeric, I put loads in, like, up to three tables teaspoons. But with the cinnamon and everything else, it's, like, one teaspoon. I mean, you can put more in if you think you can uh, drink it, but it won't taste good. Then uh, ginger, again, teaspoon. Then... A little bit of pepper. I think I put too much pepper in yesterday and it was proper getting the top of my mouth. Give it a stir. You can now see why this does not taste nice. Matthew loves the taste of this. He's so weird. Like, you'll sit and, like, proper enjoy it. I have to neck it with my nose blocked. The only reason that I, I still drink it is because it generally does make a difference. So I'm going to put two teaspoons of this in just to help the flavour. And the sugar, you know, it'll pick you up a little bit. Um, I put one teaspoon yesterday and it wasn't enough, so I'm going to put two teaspoons in today and hopefully that'll make it taste much nicer because I, I honestly, I hate the flavour of this latte thing. That's what it looks like. It's, oh. <coughs> oh god, I hate it. I hate it so much. Where's my water? My phone's ringing. It's me little brother, I know it is. Hey, Topsy. Right, so you want this to be there in 20 minutes? Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm just... ready and everything. Right. I've been ready since nine. Oh, okay, I'm just drinking a turmeric latte because uh, okay. I caught your cold. Oh, you're with us for five minutes? I know, that's all it takes for me. Does it? Yeah. You like salmon? Well, yeah. I'm trying to get rid of it before I go to Disney, so I'm just having some turmeric and stuff in a, and some milk and then I'll come get you, right? Oh, 
Love you. Bye. Bye. That's gonna be so cute. <laughs> oh wow, that pepper. Wow. Wow. Okay. One noticeable difference with this one. <laughs> Whoa, Sarah. Too much pepper. One noticeable difference with this latte to yesterday's is that the extra teaspoon of syrup has made a massive difference. So I feel like if I put in a little bit less pepper and another teaspoon of syrup, this might actually taste nice. So I think I'll do that tomorrow. But I don't have time to faff on now. I don't know if you heard, but my little brother wants us to pick him up 20 minutes early which means I need to leave in 20 minutes, no. Yeah, so I need to leave in 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get there. I'm literally just gonna go like this, bless him. Like, I'm, I'm just dropping him off, so I hope I don't embarrass him. He'll probably, he's not like that. He won't be like, oh, drop us off around the corner, but like, I do look disgusting. Right, I'm gonna drink this, shove some clothes on, and we'll go and get my little brother. I forgot to block my nose. <laughs> I forgot to block my nose. <laughs> biggest mistake ever I don't know how this has happened but my little bro sorry I feel like I'm gonna be sick I necked that turmeric latte so fast and I was actually retching and it's not going away it's like you know the actual feeling when your body actually wants to be sick not just like oh that was disgusting like my body feels like it's trying to make me be sick which is not good because I'm about to be out in the car for 40 minutes so I don't really fancy puking and I'm getting such a headache. Oh, I'm really hungry. Stop coming in, Sarah. Be positive. Right, let's go get my little brother. Just got to me mum's. I didn't have lunch really because, oh, I haven't even looked in the mirror. I'm an embarrassing sister. Anyway, he's coming out. Well, you should be. You know what he's like for coming out. I'm glad I've had that tumor glide, but all I can taste is pepper. He said to come at 10 past, and then when I rang him and said I'm outside, he sounded surprised. He said he wanted to be there for half fast. Now, now I've been sat outside five minutes. I am praying that Matthew doesn't catch this cold. Like, why Matthew? Obviously, I caught this from my little brother, Matthew. Topsy, as I call him. But, um, yeah, I'm praying that Matthew doesn't catch this. Because I might, just because I felt a little bit better today, like my nose is not as bad, I might get rid of this in time for Disney. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. All that jazz. But... If Matthew catches it, he will have it while we're at Disney, which is worrying because it won't be fun because it's like constantly blowing your nose. Know, like Disney's tiring anyway. Imagine having like a cold and all you want to do is be in bed because you're like exhausted and ill and then having to walk around freezing cold Disneyland all day. And he carries the rucksack with all the stuff in for photos and stuff. So I really hope Matthew doesn't catch this. Where on earth is this? He told me to come early and he's not even ready. I'm going to kill him. He always does this. Here he comes. He does not have a very big coat on for walking around town all day and it's freezing. I'm going to have to tell him to go back in and get a coat. Topsy. Yeah? You haven't got a very big coat on for walking around Durham. I'm all right. It's really cold. Go and get a bigger coat. Aww. You're not got like... You're not got gloves and stuff. Oh, I don't need gloves. I'm all right. Have you not got a bit of a bigger jacket? I can wear a body warmer. Maybe you should, I think, because it's really right. cold, you know. Right, right, just trying to reply to some Instagram comments. Oh my god, did you guys see the picture I put up on Instagram? How cute is this? I am Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. That was when we went to Disney Store the other day, um, after the regular choice event, and there was a Sully. It's in my vlog, and yeah, I got that picture with them. I put up stuff like this. I put up stuff like this. So you know what I mean, Matthew? Oh, I don't think you're seen. See, you need to follow me on Instagram. It is different on there. That was me and Matthew doing our matching outfits when we went out the other day. Um, when we were going to a regular choice. Topsy, I told you to pick up a jacket. It's been another five minutes. He's honestly terrible. Hang on a second. He hasn't got a jacket. Oh, you've put it on underneath. Yeah. All right. I was like, you haven't, you haven't got one. It's underneath. Say hello. Hello. Show them your nice hair. Looks very nice. Oh, well, it's it's me. It's you, is it? It's mum, mum. Now you're feeling all fresh and better, and I've got your cold. Yeah, thanks. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's someone like right there up my butt. Meaning, oh, he seems to have backed off and I've turned the camera on. Oh no, he sped up again. 
Anyway, there's someone like right off my boat, so I put my camera on because probably is going to crash into me any minute now. <laughs> this is actually really funny. Like, what, what the earth is, like, why would you do that? No, it's, it's literally me. It's like, no, it's literally us and him on the road, and then there's like no one else. I know there's nobody in front, there's no one behind. It's just him up my backside. Like, you can't get any closer if he tries. He's turned his lights on now as well to be annoying. They went on before, weren't they not? No. So it's broad daylight and he's turned his lights on. Is it a woman? I'm it's sure. a woman? Alright then, sis, I'll give you a call. Will you? Wanna, yeah, I'll give you a call. I'll probably be like two and a half. What time is it now? It is I'll 20 to be, 2. I'll probably be like two hours max. Alright, well, give us a, a 30 minute warning when you want picked up. Alright. Because I'll show me shoes on and then it'll take us 20 minutes no, to get to you. Right, I was going to say 10 minutes. Is it? Right, okay. Love you. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye. Bless him. He's so cute. Did you see that horrible person right up behind us? I'm so annoyed. As soon as I turned my camera on, they backed off, but then they turned the lights on. I was surprised it was a woman. Anyway, I'm just watching to make sure he goes the right way. I'm sure he will. He's pretty street savvy. Oh, he's running. <laughs> he's not late. He said he was meeting them at quarter two, and it's just before quarter two, so... Right, I've just gotten home. Go in the house for an hour, do as much as I can, and then come back out. I'm just going to leave the camera out here because I'm literally not going to be in the house long enough to even document anything. I'll literally be... Um, I'm going to be running around like a lunatic, so I'll see you in an hour when I come to get my little brother. Hey guys, probably looks like no time has passed at all, but I promise you it has. Sorry, I'm trying to sort my... my coat out under my butt. It is... 20 to 4, my little brother wants picked up, picked up at 5 past 4 specifically. So I've got some orders here. I'm going to go and get them, go to the post office, and then, well, go through the drive through. I should have time for the drive through if we're just going through the drive through. If he wants to go in for a coffee though, I'll have to go to the post office, then go for coffee. I just rang my little brother to tell him I'm just sat in traffic waiting that I'm going to be like five minutes early. <laughs> What? So you want to my little brother though, I don't want him sat around. I've just rang him and proper little like teenage lad talk with his mates. I could hear them in the background going, oh tell her you love her and they were all laughing and he was like, oh shut up and you know just when kids are being silly. I can't believe I just dropped him off to spend an afternoon having coffee and stuff with his friends and they went for lunch. And it's like, what, how old am I? Like, I remember him as a baby. I remember when he was a cute little Michelin and Roll baby. You know, the Michelin man of all the tires. All the babies in our family are like little Roll babies, like little cuties, like little, little chunk of chunks. Like the babies in our family are always just the absolute cutest. So um, he was such a cute little baby. So yeah, I do remember. Just yesterday, I remember him sat on the sofa with his little pudding fingers like this on his chest with his dodie with a big furry, like a fake fur throw blanket on him watching In the Night Garden he used to watch sucking his dodie, being an absolute little cutie I remember And now I'm dropping him off in town to go for coffee with his friends and in a matter of years I'm going to be dropping him off in town to go drinking with his friends Then he'll be at you. oh my god he'll be at uni in like five years <gasps> He'll be at uni I'll be dropping- oh my god I can't even imagine him being at uni Anyway, he always, he's always said that he, he's not going to go drinking it, It's been beneath him He doesn't see the appeal, he doesn't, he doesn't want to go drinking He's quite grown up, my little brother, hence the going out for coffee and lunch with his friends. I'm on the bank. Where is he? Also, when I rang him before, I went, love you, because he always says love you, and he didn't say love you. It'll be because he's with his friends. I'm four minutes early. Go me. Which I don't think's too bad. If he wants to hang out with his friends as long as possible, four minutes is not that bad. I can see him dawdling along with his hand in his pocket like his dad. He walks like my dad. It's so funny. Is that actually him? Because that does not look like a 12 year old boy. I haven't got my glasses on. E, honestly. I still remember when he was a baby. Yes, that's him. Here he comes. Here he comes to break the day. Look at his face. What's he bought? He better have bought me something. Hello? Hey. What? Hey. Hi. You bought me something, have you? No, I'm just for some pretzel. You bought yourself a pretzel? You absolute weirdo. <laughs> have you had a good time? Yeah. Look, I'm on time. 
What? I'm on time. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Three minutes past. If anything, I was early. Are you impressed? No, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Post office. Grace. You had fun? Yep. Did you need your body warmer? Um, I was alright. Mm. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What do you want? Uh, Hello, welcome across a the a, a small latte. Can I get a small latte with, with cream, cream, please? Small latte with cream? Yeah. Can I eat my pretzel? Can you eat it? Yeah. Of course you can. Oh, yeah. Why would you not be able to eat it? No, it's just because, like, crumbs. Oh my god, I found a five pound note. This never happens. Got one. <laughs> so I got in about 20 minutes ago. I've just been at the computer putting in barcodes for the orders that I got out today. And got my coffee. I wasn't going to get a coffee, but my little brother obviously wanted one. And with me not feeling good, I was like, do I really want like caffeine running through my muscles right now? But they haven't been as sore today, so... Yeah, I got one. I haven't had one for a couple of days. To be honest, I'm quite hungry. So I kind of feel like I should have food inside me before I have like coffee. So I've put some dinner in anyway because Matthew's on late tonight. So he can just have the same but when he gets back. He was in town with his mates. He had £80 spending money. Just like his own money saved up from like family members giving him it and birthdays and whatever like pocket money and things. He saved up like 80 quid. He always has more spare cash than me, seriously. I never had money like that when I was his age. It's insane. But I guess it's a different kind of time. Um, but yeah, so he bought himself pretzels. He was in, in Durham with his friends and he had pretzels. But anyway, I'm going to get on with these orders. I'm probably, because I'm not feeling as ill, I think I'm going to stay up quite late tonight doing orders. I'm going to make an announcement that it's going to be a rollover, which I didn't really want to do. So by this you'll, time watching this, you'll already know that this is a rollover. I apologise. Right, guys, I've literally been at the sewing machine all the live long day and still haven't gotten the amount of orders done that I wanted. But everybody who ordered jumper dresses, congratulations. They are finished and going out tomorrow. Although by the time you watch this, yeah, today. Anyway, yeah, so I've gotten the jumper dresses done. It's just a case of now of getting... Uh, a lot of jumper orders out and stuff, so I don't know if you can hear it, but the bath's running. I'm gonna go and get in the bath. Matthew's already in bed, bless him. And tomorrow's another long day of being on the sewing machine, but hopefully I'll have time to get this double vlogmas up. I'm sure by this point you'll know that. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good December so far. I just was saying to Matthew, oh, I can't believe we haven't got our tree up. So I just want to get on with these orders so I can get some other stuff done. I definitely took on too many orders, but never mind. I guess it's a good thing kind of anyway i'm sorry if today wasn't very interesting but it's just what i'm up to so anyway i hope you're all having a great december and i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas bye guys